Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be taking a look at the latest software update for Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13. Now this is still a part of the beta program, and this is the third update that has been launched. Now this one was pushed out about a week ago, but I wasn't able to shoot this video until now. This one does have a software version ending in ZV. I9. There are some new features. There's been a few bugs that have been fixed. There's been a few different features that's been moved around, changed its location, and a few things also taken off of the device as well. Now on the bottom, you can still see that we are still using that September 1st patch, and the size of this update was 1,349 megabytes. Now before we go through a few things that's new with this update, I do want to give you guys another update, which is one that Samsung pushed off to all of us a part of the beta program, and that is letting us know that there's a feature that they will be be removing. So in my past videos, I was talking about this feature up here. It's a multi-user feature. It's a way that you can have a guest profile or maybe a profile for your son or daughter. It's kind of a way that you can have your side of the phone and then their side of the phone once you switch over to that mode. But Samsung is taking it off not only with the next beta update, which will be the fourth update, but they're taking it off the official One UI version entirely. So it says right here, the multi-user feature was introduced in the One UI 5 beta version, but Samsung removed the multi-user feature in the next beta version and the official One UI 5 version due to several issues, which means that they are getting super, super close to the final result, meaning that there's probably just one more version after this, just fixing some of the kinks and bugs, and then the official one comes out. So if you have been using the multi-user functionality in previous beta versions, and you have important data stored in the sub-user space, you just want to back it up prior to the next software update. So because I don't really have that other sub profile set up, there's really nothing for me to really back up or save. Uh, but again, I want to let you guys know that that one will be coming off. So some of these videos where I'm talking about that additional user setting or that option, uh, that will actually not be there for the full release. So one of the new features with this update is stories that are created in your gallery have been revamped with immersive slideshow view. So if you go through your gallery and you go inside of your stories, if there's any of these stories that either it has auto created for you, uh, or if it's something that you have created, it's just letting you know that it is a revamped slideshow of all these different pictures. Uh, so this is what the, the new UI will look like. If you go through, you take a look, it's going to show you the different images. Uh, and then again, it's it's just uh, kind of a revamped version, a different UI uh, than what it was from before. Uh, the bugs that have been fixed. So the added gallery widget on the home screen. So if you wanted to, you can actually add in a gallery widget and that's mostly kind of showing off some of your stories. So if you press and hold anywhere on any empty home screen, you'll be able to go inside of widgets. And then inside of widgets, you'll just scroll down to where it says gallery. And then this is where you can add this over into your home screen. So if I was to add this one in there, you can change the size if you want to, but I kind of find that this one is kind of the best size. If you make it you know, wider, you definitely want to make it longer because if you try to make this one longer, it's just going to uh, elongate the image, kind of looks bad. Uh, so you do want to kind of you know, widen it and also bring it down. And when you tap on this, it's just going to show a couple different slideshows. You can tap on this and it's going to show everything that it's playing on the bottom. Uh, so again, it's pretty fun to kind of cycle through some of your stories, some of those images that you took on your phone. Another thing that has been fixed is the improved ability that you're able to modify the wallpaper for the lock screen by pressing the lock screen long way. So basically, if you're inside of your lock screen, which is right here, you can actually just press and hold. Then once you unlock your device, this is where you're able to make changes to the home screen. So you can, you know, make these bigger, smaller, you can kind of move them up, down a little bit. You can change how they look. So if you wanted to, again, change how your lock screen looks, you're able to do it just by long pressing. You know, you can add in your contact information, you can move. And, and change whatever icons you have on the bottom. And also you can take a look at some of the wallpapers and then you can just hit on set. So again, it's a way that you don't have to go through all of the settings to make a change as you are you know, currently looking at your lock screen if you wanted to make the change because now you've been reminded, you just simply do a long press and hold. Now I do want to show you the new user interface for the gallery. So when you first open up the gallery, let's say that you scroll on down, you can see that the name albums is on the very top. So if you're looking at your albums tab on the bottom, it's really going to show you the main albums that you were more than likely going to open or the ones that you use most often. So you're going to see screenshots, recent, favorite, camera, things like that. Now you're also going to notice that instead of the 
name of the album being below, which would actually take up more space. So you can see that there's very minimal black space in between each of these different albums. So this way, when you are scrolled all the way down like this, you have your main nine sitting right there. Uh, so you can see that the name is now inside of the album artwork cover right there. What it used to look like is actually right here. So now when you go to view all, this is what it looked like. You can see that there's a lot of space in between the different albums. And this is actually the location of all of your albums. So the new user interface of the gallery is now going to be looking like this. Your main ones will be sitting right here, your main top nine. Then you can actually expand it all to show all of them if there's a few that you don't really take a look at all the time. So it's really just kind of showing you more than likely what you're really there to take a look at and also save some space. But not take anything away and everything is in the very next tab. Now going through a few of these just a little bit quicker, you have the improved album tab UX at the bottom of the gallery app, change the settings, battery and device care, the device care, auto optimization, the restart when needed is default to off. So sometimes this may have been turned on that restart when needed. Uh, but another thing too, is that it's kind of in a different location. So if you go inside of that battery and device care, you're going to see it right there. So there's the auto optimization optimization and it's just a simple tab uh, or a tap of the little toggle you just turn it on or turn it off you don't really go through you know which days and what times you want it to happen it's just going to restart when needed and again it's really good to always automatically just restart your phone because some people just leave it on for months on end or weeks on end and then you're going to have issues and cash problems things like that so it's not going to be up on the very top anymore uh, you know even if you take a look inside a battery there's nothing up over there everything has moved over into the bottom you have more battery settings there but in terms of the auto optimization. It's moved right up over here underneath the additional care and it's only one toggle uh, rather than you going through and setting this up. Next up, they've strengthened the optimization setting function for each terminal mode and moved the menu location. So into settings, useful features, Bixby routine mode to settings modes. Uh, fix the problem that the call recording cannot be deleted immediately after the call. Improve the break awkward at home screen return. Uh, improve the animation over overlapping at the folder close fix the problem that has uh, that the recording is automatically turned on when deleted after stopping the call recording fix the problem that IMS service stop pop-up is continuously displayed fix the problem that cannot go uh, out with a gesture while returning a large number of apps on the lock screen fix the problem that the cal calendar widget transparency is not applied and then fix the problem that the app icon text is very small so there's a few small things that they switched a lot of it was kind of dealing you know with the with the phone app things like that so that is everything that I wanted to show off in today's video that is everything that is brand new with this latest update again I updated it today October 2nd uh, even though it was pushed off about a week sooner than this but I still wanted to cover everything show everything off just so you guys can keep up to date with everything that's happening with this update as everything keeps getting closer and closer and closer to the official launch so hopefully you guys appreciated this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later